New details now on the plane that crashed into a house in Pompano Beach yesterday. Federal investigators have been on the scene all day long, and the final piece of the plane was just towed away. And today we also learned the plane's pilot was 40 years old. He was with two other students in their 20s, both learning how to fly. All of them continue to recover. CBS 4's Ted Count is live at the scene of the crash in Pompano Beach with an update for us. Ted? Hi, Elliot. Well, life can kind of get back to normal here in this neighborhood. A day after that plane crashed right into that house there, you can see the burned area where that plane hit it, then bounced right over into the neighbor's yard. About an hour ago, the wreckage was hauled away. What's left of the fuselage is hoisted out of the backyard a day after a fiery crash in a Pompano Beach neighborhood. Here's an up-close look at that small twin-engine plane moments after it crashed. An airplane. That's what I thought. Neighbors captured the thick smoke coming from the home that was caught in the path of the crash landing. As people used garden hoses to put out the flames, Warren Beck ran to help the three people who were inside. Jeff White, who's the instructor, student Sylvia Mena from Ecuador, and Fernando Diaz from Peru. The co-pilot kept asking me, how's my face? My face. I, I can't. My face. How's my face? I said, sir, you're alive. You're okay. Everything is okay. Beck and another friend who helped said they were all severely burned. They were completely covered in oil, dirt, or soot. I mean, all of their skin, um, all hands and face looked like at least the first layer of skin was all singed off. Throughout the afternoon, parts of the plane were removed from the backyard. Investigators were back there most of the day, carefully examining the wreckage, trying to figure out what happened. We'll talk to some witnesses and find out what was the aircraft attitude on takeoff. Was it in a you know high pitch attitude? Was it in a steep bank? How were the engines? Did they, was there an engine sound? Uh, did someone hear one engine maybe come back? People nearby said they heard engines sputter and stop. I could hear it, and when I did not hear it for a second, that's when I looked up to see it start to go down. It looks like they were more of gliding in, like the, you heard the engine cut out, and it, they just started losing altitude. It didn't nosedive down, but s slowly started coming down. And the NTSB tells us we should get a preliminary report in about a week or so, then more details in six to nine months. As for those three victims, all of them are at the burn unit at Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami. Live in Pompano Beach, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News. Ted, thank you.